The 27th edition of AEW Dynamite aired last night from the Nightmare Factory in Norcross, Georgia. Let's take a look at the winners and losers from AEW Dynamite number 27. First up in the winner's column is Lance Archer. He defeated Alan Engels in singles competition. It was the second victory in a row for Archer. He now improves to 2-0 in his AEW career. He defeated Marco Stunt last week. It defeats Alan Engels this week. And before this match uh, took place, a video promo featuring Jake the Snake Roberts was shown. Jake the Snake talked about how Marco Stunt was the only one to step up to the plate against Archer last week. Everybody is ducking Lance Archer, according to Jake the Snake Roberts, and he would probably include Cody Rhodes in that list of people who are afraid of his client. Now, Archer is in the TNT Championship Tournament. His first round match will be up against Colt Cabana. Next up in the winner's column goes to Hikaru Shida, and she maintains her number one ranking in the AEW Women's Division. She defeats the number four ranked Dr. Britt Baker DMD in a bloody hard-hitting battle that saw Britt Baker busted up and the blood flowing. But Hikaru Shida in a close but... Epic encounter. She defeats Dr. Britt Baker. She moves into the winner's column. Dr. Britt Baker goes into the loser's column on this night. Now looking at Hikaru Shida's record in 2020 in AEW, she's wrestled 10 matches. She's only not won two of them. And I say not one because she didn't really lose the ones that she lost. Her only losses were in a tag team match to Nyla Rose and B. Priestley when she was teaming with Chris Statlander on the March 11th episode of Dynamite. She also was in a world title fatal four-way match won by Riho on the January 1st homecoming edition of Dynamite. Before that, however, she did drop a singles match to Chris Statlander on the December 4th show in 2019, but Hikaru Shida, she maintains her number one ranking in the AEW women's division with this win here over Dr. Britt Baker. Looking at Britt Baker's record now in 2020, she's dropped a couple of matches. She dropped a match to Yuka Sakazaki on the February 5th edition of Dynamite. She was also in that fatal four-way match on the homecoming edition of Dynamite on January 1st. That was won by Riho. That was for the AW Women's Championship. So Britt Baker with the loss to Hikaru Shida. She's no, uh, ranked number four in the rankings. We'll see if this loss drops her down any next week. Next up, we had the number five ranked best friends tag team going up against the team of Kenny Omega and Michael Naka, Naka, Nakazawa. So Kenny Omega, of course, one half of the tag team champions along with Hangman Page. Hangman Page doesn't, uh, doesn't appear to be participating in the tapings going on in Georgia. There was a segment which set up this match in a trailer Kenny Omega and Michael Nakazawa were talking. Michael Nakazawa decided that their tag team name should be the best friends. Orange Cassidy then appeared out of a closet, a bathroom, and he let in Chuck Taylor and Trent, and they agreed that this match here would be for the name The Best Friends. So if Omega and Nakazawa were able to beat The Best Friends, then they would be The Best Friends, and The Best Friends would need a new name. But it was the best friends that won. They were able to pick up the victory by pinning Michael Naka Naka Nakazawa. So they improved to four and three in 2020 as a tag team. Omega and Nakazawa, this was their first time teaming in AEW. They were a team in DDT in Japan. If you're not familiar with that promotion, it's a comedy-based promotion uh, that uh, they were both involved in that gets very good reviews from those who follow it. Next up, we had the exalted one, Brody Lee, and he took on Lee Johnson. This match, well, the name Lee was not on the line, as we understand it. Uh, this was Brody Lee's second match in AEW Dynamite, or in AEW. He improves to 2 0. He defeated QT Marshall in the March 25th edition of Dynamite. And so he goes back in the winner's column. 
here on AEW Dynamite number 27. Not a winner or a loser, but Matt Hardy has challenged the inner circle to an elite deletion match. Now, one might assume that this is something that, well, he said is going to take place on the Hardy compound. Are we going to get a final deletion, broken universe style match on the Hardy compound and involving Matt Hardy and members of the inner circle? It certainly sounds that way based on the back and forth that Matt Hardy and Chris Jericho have had on recent episodes. The main event last night on AEW Dynamite was the first match to take place in the TNT title tournament. Cody Rhodes cut a promo before this match, which was posted on YouTube talking about how the other seven wrestlers in this match all deserve to be there, all really want to win this title, but Cody, he needs to win this title. He took on Sean Spears in a match which wasn't technically announced as being no disqualification, but guardrails were used. People went through tables, but in the end, Cody Rhodes locked on the figure four, and Sean Spears was in so much pain, he didn't notice his shoulders were pinned to the mat. Aubrey Edwards counted him down for the three count. Cody moves on in the tournament, and Sean Spears does not. Let's take a look at the bracket here up on your screen for the TNT title tournament. So Cody now with the win, he'll take on the winner of Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen. Then on the other side of the brackets, we've got Kip Sabian versus Dustin Rhodes and Lance Archer going up against Colt Cabana. It is going to be a big week for AEW Dynamite next week as we have an empty arena, no holds barred match for the AEW World Championship. John Moxley, his first title defense against the number one ranked Jake Hager. We saw video promos from both these wrestlers this week. That'll take place on next week's Dynamite. Also on next week's Dynamite, in the TNT Championship Tournament, Lance Archer is going to face Colt Cabana. And those are your winners and losers from AEW Dynamite number 27. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more news or reports from Spoiler Free Wrestling.